Support our school by subscribing to the channel and check out our website for new classes starting soon. Hi again, everyone. Welcome back to the Columbus School of Chinese here in Columbus, Ohio, and our show Ask a Chinese Teacher. Today is going to be something a little bit different. I'm going to recommend the first book that we're ever going to have talked about here on the show. It's a book called The Misadventures of Zhou Haisheng, or in Chinese, simply Zhou Haisheng. And this is what's called a graduated reader. Graduated reader, meaning the number of unique characters that you need to recognize is capped at 150. So this entire story is being told with just 150 unique characters. You're going to come across 150 characters if you read this from cover to cover. This is a graduated reader by Mandarin Companion. Mandarin Companion has a ton of these at three different levels. They have what's called the breakthrough level, with, which is what this is. So if you're just getting into reading longer narrations in all in Chinese characters for the first time, you could go to this first. This would be kind of the step stone to get to something even longer and more complex. I think the next level up is the cap it at 300 characters. Then the next level after that, they cap it at 450 characters. The stories get more and more complex. The fonts get smaller and smaller. Um, but you can kind of see this is just like your first chapter books that you might have had coming up in your, your own school days in English. The font is big. There are lots of pictures. We end up recommending Mandarin Companion graduated readers a lot to our students who are trying to break through into more reading and they really do a good job telling a relatively interesting compelling story with that capped amount of characters. This story happens to revolve around Zhou Haisheng, that's the name of this little boy. He's living in Shanghai with his parents. His parents immigrated to Shanghai from a more rural, less developed part of China called Shanxi province. They've moved to Shanghai to kind of make a better life for themselves, give a better life to their child, and they've opened up a noodle restaurant. They're serving their hometown specialty, special noodles to the people of Shanghai. And so the story kind of revolves around his misadventures with the noodle shop. Now, that story on its own is interesting enough, but really I think what makes this even more interesting is the, the background story. This is a story, people moving from a less developed area of China to bigger cities, is something over the last 20, 30, 40 years, hundreds of millions of people have done. People have been moving from the countryside into big cities like no other time in human history, and that is the story of Chinese society, one of the big main storylines of Chinese society within the last few decades. So that's another thing Mandarin Companion does really well, whether it be this book or the other ones in, in the series, different levels, they make things true to life. They're very detailed oriented. And just looking at the pictures, for example, you see a lot of really cool details that kind of make brings me back to my, my days in China. I mean, take a look at some of the pictures in here. We have an older guy and he's wearing shoes, these bu xie, lao beijing bu xie, that older people would wear. On the windows, on the front of their shop, it says, Huan Guangling, Kong Tiao Kai Fang. Welcome, we got the air conditioner turned on, just like you might see. There's these little details that makes it true to life. Even in the pictures, they're a very detail-oriented company when it comes to adapting the stories to true to life things going on in China. So even I, reading these, find it interesting. There are some other technical details that make this nice for learners. For example, if you're coming across a word for the first time that they figure might be new to you, they're going to you know, define it on the bottom of the page. They'll tell you what, how to read it in pinyin. They'll tell you the English. And then they'll keep underlining that word as it keeps showing up throughout the story. There's also a lot of really good stuff in the back of the book. There's a keyword index. There's a grammar point index. They also have some information in there for you if you're reading this in conjunction with some of the other more widely used Chinese textbooks like Integrated Chinese. Those in, there's information for you in there that says, hey, you probably haven't seen this character yet in Integrated Chinese. Here's what it is. 
So they do a good job. They're all adapted very well to Chinese culture and soci Chinese society. And um, we highly recommend them. So there it is. Zhou Hai Sheng. Check it out if you're trying to break through into longer readings in Chinese. And if you have your own graduated reader series that's worked well for you, I'm always looking for more material, please let us know. If this is your level of Chinese and this is what you're looking to do, we have classes for you that are online. We also have classes for total beginners starting every two months or so. So check out our webpage, get in touch with us if you're interested in learning more about online classes. So happy reading and thank you once again for watching.